What's up dudes and dudettes of the air now? My name is Seth and we are back here for some more Portal Nights. Oh, the darkness is coming down to get me. Not really though. So hi, how y'all doing? I hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. I did as much grinding as I could before I had to record this other episode. It's coming out of the screen, green screens behind me. So, um, I ended up getting us quite a bit of resources. Uh, I hope anyway. Uh, opened up this next portal and I've got quite a bunch of junk that I should actually be dropping off at home base but that's okay. 12 more portal shards for the green one anyway meaning that we can open uh, a couple more of the green port ports and I've been going crazy trying to get as much wonder wool as we can also kind of find, found out the hard way that the wand and its attack speed actually makes it more useful than most of the uh, staffs so GG rip we should have been going for a wand the entire time. If there's a black hole wand, like, that's got dark magic for the final boss or something, we'll definitely end up going for that one. But otherwise, we may end up just going... Ion interior, what? We may end up going for the other one? Why are we underground? Why is it so dark? Why can I not see anything? Is there any way out of here at all? I guess we gotta dig our way out. That's kind of exciting. Ooh. Oh, there it is, hello. Oh. Hello, outer space. This is, <laughs> this is one weird place, man. I kind of like it, though. Whoa! Is there anything? Oh, it's just one of these. Okay, it's not nearly as new and... <laughs> Whoa! What was that? What was that? Was that an evil worm? Yes, it was. Wow, that thing is big! That's one fat, ugly worm, man! Jeez Louise! I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh, and then I guess we could- this is gonna be that other resource that we would have needed but already used, right? Probably? Yeah, Andresalt. Whatever it's called, who cares? What else is down here? Ho-ho! Looks like we got a dungeon down there, peeps! So that's pretty cool, because that'll be the first space dungeon we've ran into. Thankfully, these biomes do have uh, a lot of the enemies that use the dark portals and the dark arts. Now, this portal, I'm assuming, is going to go over here. We're trying desperately to get over to the boss as fast as possible, because just in general... Whoa! Oh, things are becoming a lot more grindy, and because of that, I have a lot less time to actually... Wow, what is that guy? He was hurting us a lot. Oh my goodness. I have a lot less time to um, be playing this game lately, just as it's starting to get more and more grindy. So I'm hoping that we can end up getting to the end of the game very soon. That's a weird new thing. Item name prop furniture classy brassiere 2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's broken. We don't need the fur. Who cares? Is there anything special out of these finally? Or is it just, yeah, it's still just mana potions, which we don't really need. And we never have and never will either. Hello? Is this just a normal door? I think that's just, yeah, that's just a large door. We don't need that. That's garbage. This is a cool dungeon, though. At least it's a different type of generation. Too bad we can't really see anything. <laughs> oh, no. Woo! No! Stay away from me! Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's actually like a black hole stargazer type of thing. I can't see anything! Man, this light magic sucks. I mean, it's wonderful, but it's terrible at the same time. <laughs> At least we're getting lots of stuff, lots of very weird new items, my goodness. What about here? Oh, great. It's a stargazer. He's gazing into my soul, ouch. He's biting my soul. Hello? Is there anything else here? Don't tell me this is it. Really? Maybe we just dig through it or a portal could have generated here? I'm gonna dig through it anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna take a long time. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's easier to dig underneath it rather than just straight through it. Oh, man. That's it. Ah, whatever. I guess so. Oh, well. So, there's two other portals, except the other portal wasn't in the dungeon. Which, that ain't good, so I guess we'll just try and, uh, pillar our way up to the tippy top of this place. And see whether or not there's actually a portal up there. 
because I'm hoping that the harder of the two portals is going to be the one that leads us in the right direction because otherwise, that's kind of a waste of portal gate stuff. Kind of a waste. I see a bunch of pots that we could go and grab. Are we there yet? Whoa. Okay, there's no port there. Geronimo! Ugh, my legs, I feel good. Let's do this. And then honestly, I have no idea where that last portal was, so it must be underground somewhere. Please be the right one. This one. Yes, it is. Bowser. Nice. C what? Core? What? The core's core? <laughs> what did it say, man? Reminds me of Metroid. Ah! Keres is his core. Something. Hello, beautiful place. And it. Whoa. Bloop. So, this, this, this is it. This is it, peeps. This is the end. Because the red portal goes to the boss. Because as far as I've heard, the only portal oh, that takes the red stuff goes to the boss. And it looks like Holy might actually be his weakness after all. Wow, that guy had a big, beautiful, big, beautiful shot. Thank goodness we're finally firing the dark, the evil enemies like the dark magic stuff. Because otherwise this staff was considerably useless up to this point. What, do we need those? Do we need that? Do we need these? Probably not. We'll get rid of these sharpening stones too just for kicks. What else do we not need? One raw flame diamond is not worth it. Even though it's a rupee, but whatever. Same thing. Hello? Oh, it's a dungeon! No! I will destroy you! Also, that chair that's sitting right beside us? You can't really see it because we're flashing white. This... It's not actually a prop item. I tried destroying it in a different world because I ended up finding it. Ooh, that's titanium. I'm not even gonna bother, like seriously. <laughs> I guess we could though, we probably should today, but we need like 40 of it just to make one bar. And we need like, what is it, two or four bars to upgrade our magic thing. Oh, jeez. It better be, it better be, like, in high supply. Every single ore vein should have, like, 20. Because otherwise, this is going to suck. <laughs> I just want to get an idea for what I'm going to be doing for the next, like, 50 hours. Oh, my goodness gracious. Give me all the stuff. What is that? Is this just that address? Wow, that looks beautiful, at least. So, we ended up getting 15. 16 and 1. That's not too bad. But considering we need 40 per is so brutal. Like, seriously. I can't believe that. I want to be able to see, too. It would be nice if we could see, like, just go to our uh, uh, crafting menu and kind of just determine what we actually need in order to forge up our stuff. That would be very useful, I think. Get out of here. Your magic's beautiful, but get lost. You, too, you beautiful little slime baby thing. <laughs> Makes me want to eat it. Where's the other one? There it is. This is more like the moon then. We're in outer space right now. I'm assuming that when these slimes get up to us, they would cause like mega damage. That's why they like seem to be so super duper slow and not get up to us. I think that's what's happening anyway. <laughs> okay, at least he's got a slow shot like we do, so it makes the battle a little bit fairer. Fairer, kind of. Wow, they give a lot of experience here, though. My goodness. This is still one heck of a killer, cool, final biome just before the boss. So that means, hopefully, the next episode, because I don't think we're going to have enough time to do it today, next episode's probably, bloop, going to end up being the last, everybody. Because we'll get to the final boss, then we'll hopefully just wreck him without fail. And, uh, go to the final port, port, see what the last area is about, and that'll probably be it. Maybe we'll end up crafting the final wand, whatever it may be. But, I'm not too concerned about it, because so far we can pretty much wreck everything anyways. I'm not too worried about getting, like, the ultimate staff in the game. Especially when it's gonna take like so much time because like I said like legit I do not have nearly as much time to play this game as I did when we were first starting out 
because I'm just I'm just so busy behind the scenes with tons of other stuff and all the other games and everything like that and it's just it's 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 getting way too much for me to manage so I'm really trying to push this game and hopefully be able to finish this like I, I, I'm hoping that I can get to the last boss within this one recording session even though I'm gonna definitely have to split this into two episodes because otherwise it would just not, you know, that would be like 50 minutes or something, right? Especially with all the titanium we're having to mine. I want to at least get up to 80, and fingers crossed that all we needed was two bars. Anything else and whatever, it's not nearly as hard to mine this stuff as I thought it would be, though. Because we're actually, like, it did what I wanted it to do, where, <laughs> where there's, like, so much titanium all in one spot, you know? Oh, seems like our inventory is full. We don't need linen. 64 each? Okay. Nope, zoom the camera out. I want to see coolness, please. Huh? Huh? Stay away from me, slime. Slay you stay away from me too, giant weird piranha plant with shadowness. Give me your X points, though. It's delicious. My goodness gracious. I think it's actually... I don't think they're giving as much experience as I thought. I think it's because we're grabbing um, experience from one enemy and another so rapid quick that it's kind of splicing it together like it does with all the items and inventory stuff that's on the right side of the screen. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We might not be getting as many... Um, as much experience as I thought. See, like, these ones kind of on their own. That's that's not good. There we go. Backpack full. I'm not trying to get dirt. I don't want dirt. I just want- I just want the- the titanium. We should have enough now, I hope. Now, if it requires three, then we're already done for. But you know what we're gonna do, peeps? Wait a minute. Did we end up- were we getting red, uh, crystal shots from these guys? Yeah, okay. Let me just get us some green ones just for kicks. How many of these do we got? Three. Not enough. <laughs> Very close, though. Yeah, look at that. No infin no titanium there. I was about to say infinium. I'm so used to mine. Or, er, uh, trove, man. No! Give it to me. Give it back. Yes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We almost got half of it. Let's at least go back to home base. See whether or not we can actually, hopefully, have enough titanium that we can forge up our altar and then find out that the staff itself is probably going to be like, Yo, you need like 50,000 of me. But that's the thing too. Actually, I didn't even realize the point. I mentioned this a couple episodes back. I don't think the game makes enough titanium that you can get all of the armor and weapon in one run. I think we would have to go into another area. Yeah, it's only two bars. Thank goodness. I think we would have to go into a different area. Okay, give me some more. Don't tell me I don't have any. Oh, it's this chest. Thank goodness. <laughs> but yeah, we'd have to definitely go into a different area. Uh, like, create a new universe, get all the way to the end, just so we could get enough titanium bars to forge up all of our stuff. Like, it's so brutal. So what did we need? We need the angel diamond, eight of them, and wood. Which we should, thank goodness we have enough of this. Okay. Wait a minute. We got so much wonder wool, we should be good for that too. <laughs> but you know it's gonna require, you know it's gonna be brutal in what it requires us to get. Like seriously. <laughs> But at least we can forge this up today, so that's actually very exciting. Didn't even have to, like, wait till the next episode. We got that fairly quick, too. So, let us see. That should be the final one, yeah. Magic spells. Fireball 3. Launches a fiery ball that explodes, dealing fire damage to enemies in range. Hit, en hit enemies receive a periodic fire damage for two seconds. So, it's just gonna be, uh, three, five of that one. Holy bomb. Wow, that's powerful. Planetary strike! Ha 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 ha! Oh wow. That is. What is this? Just angel dust? That's, that's not even like a problem, angel diamond dust. Seriously. Uh, hit explodes shortly after dealing astral damage to enemies in range. Yeah, see, so the astral damage may end up being what the last boss needs. What's this? Uh, decreases damage dealt by enemies. Uh, decreases received damage. Okay, so you could stack them both? I don't get it. What's Warcry do? Damage of all friendly targets. 
All right, whatever. So we could stack this and probably use it with this one so we could get a total of 30% more damage. Yeah, these both wouldn't, don't have that much casting speed, though. And then we need the first spell and then the Cosmic Opal Dust. That's where that comes into play. Okay, cool. Uh, I may end up trying to get this spell just because I think it probably is going to look really cool. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, look, perfect. Oh, <laughs> That sucks, but yeah, we're gonna definitely oh that's so beautiful man But we're definitely gonna end up going for the wand rather than cosmic opal dust That is a lot more important than getting that spell that would probably be on a cooldown But yeah, I'm gonna try and get this by the next episode because we definitely don't have enough time today Warlock armor. What's this magic fleece cloth and then cosmic opal again? That would require, like, so much grinding. Like, seriously. Cosmic Opal again. What's this one, then? Critical reset. And this one has... Chance to spawn an explosion when struck by melee damage. So we would probably go for this dark armor. And thankfully, it doesn't seem to cost... Oh, then there's Archmage armor. Isn't that what we're rocking now? No, it isn't. But it all costs Cosmic Opal stuff, which as far as I know, we don't have that much of it. Yeah, we only got like a little bit of it, and we, oh, I mean, I have to find, farm like so many enemies just so we can make that staff. Uh, but I'm also, yeah, wow. But the biggest thing is gonna be the titanium, and then actually this Cosmic Opal stuff shouldn't be too much of a problem because that's right, rip me, we can actually just grind it out in that final area, so that'll be cool. Probably not gonna end up going for the crafting table, although we could end up getting a uh, titanium pick or something like that, but I'm not too concerned about it. Either way, we're on time, next episode should be the last, I gotta get to grinding. Thanks for watching everybody, do not forget to hook in the like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. So I don't Stay epic, everybody. Can you please just get up the hill? Ride! He's right! Ah! <laughs> we fell into the lava! That was really neat! We actually fought that guy in midair! <laughs>